last video, I talked about the history of satellites from 1957 to 2020. I explained how the number of functional satellites has skyrocketed to over 3,300 today. Yet, in this video, I would like to mention how the number of satellites may continue to increase at a pace never seen before. With the context of 3,300 satellites existing today, let's now put a future number onto that number. There are expected to be 990 non-SpaceX satellites launched per year from 2019 to 2028. This is on top of SpaceX's plan to put a semi-complete constellation of 12,000 satellites up by 2025. As such, during the rudimentary math, we will come up with 20,250 satellites by 2025, or approximately 6 to 7 times the number of satellites that exist today. Even though they are refrigerator sized, they still have the potential to crash into other satellites or debris pieces and thus become orbital debris. But that number is dwarfed by the number of satellites SpaceX eventually plans to launch. They plan to complete their Starlink constellation with 42,000 Starlink satellites, all in low Earth orbit. This could trigger an orbital debris catastrophe or even apocalypse if it were to be added on top of the thousands or even tens of thousands of non-SpaceX satellites. But it is not just the number of satellites that will change. The type of satellites will also change. Since the late 2010s, we have seen an increase of launches of small satellites, including CubeSats. These small satellites have a mass of less than 1.4 kilograms and they are made of cubic segments that are 10 centimeters cubed in volume. Companies currently have plans to launch close to a thousand of them a year, but the market may grow in future years. Despite Earth's crowded orbit, however, I would like to end today's video on a positive note. There are three satellites in particular I would like to talk about. The first is Europe's Clear Space One mission, set to launch in 2025. It will be the second of three orbital debris cleanup missions currently planned. It will drag a large piece of debris and bring it out of orbit. The second is Astroscale's Adras J mission, with its first phase set for launch in 2023. Slightly earlier than Clear Space One, it will use similar technology to deorbit a piece of orbital debris. Finally, the most exciting of all is Sky Perfect, another Japanese company that is testing a space laser to vaporize orbital debris, set to be tested in 2024 and become operational in 2026. It is the first satellite of its kind, and unlike the previous two cleanup satellites, it will be capable of zapping out smaller pieces of debris. If you have been watching my previous videos, you probably know that I run a petition on removing orbital debris. While it is great that Japan and the European Union are doing something about orbital debris, as the leader of satellite ownership and space launches, the US should also be doing something about orbital debris. If you feel the same way, please sign my petition in the description below. Thank you for watching, and I'll see you next week.